Besties, I wanted to give you an update how I'm spending my time during this quarantine. Um, as a lot of you know, I am the water field instructor, but for some of you that know me a little bit more, you also know that before I was a field instructor, I was a cake decorator and I attended culinary school and finished culinary school and know a lot about baking. Um, so I'm gonna be baking some bread today. Um, I'm not gonna go through the whole process, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about starters. Um, so a lot of people are really familiar with the sourdough starter. Uh, it makes sourdough bread. It's a fermentation of sort of a really wet dough. Um, and you have to feed it every day. You have to take care of it. It can die. Um, it can get moldy, which you don't want. Don't eat moldy starters. Um, and it's a really delicious addition to lots of breads. Um, there are other breads that have other starters. So today I'm going to be making a burly bread. It's a Swedish bread. Um, and it has a starter called a poolish. Um, and it's super wet and gooey. Um, I made it yesterday, so it doesn't require the same long fermentation process. And um, I added the yeast myself, which is why it doesn't need to sit and ferment. Because with the sourdough starters, the yeast comes from the air and like our hands and our own like biomes. And so um, not only are they more biologically diverse, but they, they with that, they taste different. So that's pretty interesting. Um, but this one is just store-bought yeast that's been added and it's like been given all night to uh, turn into this. Um, and I'm going to be adding it to my dough um, along with some additional yeast and more flour and things like that. Um, and I'll, I'll at least post a picture to, to be added on, um, whether it turns out or not. Because even though I know a lot about baking, sometimes it doesn't turn out well. But sometimes it does. The dough was really wet. It looked kind of similar to that poolish starter that I made. Um, it's really loose and I'll post a picture of what it looked like in the pan, but it doesn't really look like bread dough. It looks like really like gooey still. Um, it's baked with steam. So I just put in a, a tray of water in the oven. Um, so the steam can help a better crust develop. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but it just gives it more, more texture. And then the, the inside of the bread, it's very, I don't know if you can tell. It's very chewy. Um, there's whole wheat flour and all-purpose flour in here because I didn't have bread flour because finding flour right now is hard. Um, but so it's super chewy um, and it's super delicious. Uh, I love this bread so much and I just wanted to yeah update everybody to let you know it turned out. It was one of those moments where baking worked in my favor. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Um, if you're trying new recipes or if you're trying to get into bread baking and you have any questions, I would love to answer them for you. I'm not an expert in bread, um, but I feel like I could answer some questions, especially for a beginner baker. Uh, so let me know in the comments below. Sounds good. All right. Hey everyone. I've already been eating it, so my bad. Uh, I forgot that I started a project in terms of telling people about things. Um, I wanted to update my bread. Uh, update my video that is about bread. Specifics are hard. Hello, it's me again, uh, your water field instructor, bacon, bacon, baking. My name is not bacon or baking. My name is still Karst. 